The Oakland Athletics were once one of the greatest franchises in professional sports, with a dedicated fan base and a rich tradition. However, over the past couple of years, the Oakland Athletics have been falling apart and deteriorating. Este Uri Ruiz stands in his way. Grounded to third. Donaldson has it. There it is. Perfection for Domingo Herman. Widely hated owner Jim Fisher has refused to invest in his team, and it shows. Over the past two seasons, the Oakland A's have only won 110 out of their 324 games played. In addition to the poor on-field product, the Oakland Coliseum is falling apart as well and isn't up to major league standards. Instead of making an effort to restore the great tradition of baseball in Oakland, John Fisher decided to pull the plug and relocate his team. The Athletics released plans for a new ballpark on the Las Vegas Strip. The renderings of the stadium look like baseball's version of the Sydney Opera House. However, the stadium won't be ready until sometime between the year 2027 and 2029. Meanwhile, the Athletics lease of the Oakland Coliseum will be terminated at the end of this season. The team recently announced that they'll be playing their 2025 through 2027 seasons in Sutter Health Park in Sacramento. Star Health Park is a minor league park that seats 14,000 fans and is currently home of the Class AAA Rivercats. A major league team playing in a stadium that can only fit 14,000 fans is pathetic. The average attendance of an MLB game in 2023 was north of 29,000 fans. Fisher's lack of investment in his organization has gone too far. How could the MLB allow this? Well, the MLB hasn't taken action yet. I believe that karma will. After doing some deep digging, I found reason to believe that the Athletics' most successful seasons over the next decade will be specifically when they can only sell 14,000 tickets a game. So bizarre. In the air, and that's flying far and gone. Zach Geloff with his first homer and feeling things today on a Sunday. A triple and a homer now for Zach Geloff. The Oakland Athletics have been one of, if not the worst team in the MLB over the past two years. However, the 2024 Athletics already look a bit better. The team got off to a rough 1-4 start to the season, just as we expected. Then, out of nowhere, the team won 7 of their next 14 games, like a competent baseball team. The team's two best hitters are two young guys who will be around for a while. Their 26-year-old catcher, Shay Langliers, and their 24-year-old second baseman, Zach Geloff, have been bright spots in their lineup. In 150 plate appearances, the duo has put up 6 home runs and driven in 15 runs. Langoliers and Geloff will both be with the team for the foreseeable future and should develop into very solid hitters at the top of their lineup. Furthermore, a couple of young arms have started to blossom in the bullpen. Led by the 26-year-old Kyle Muller and the 25-year-old closer Mason Miller, the ace bullpen is starting to come together. On top of this slimmer of hope, the Athletics are about to get major reinforcements from their minor league system. 12 of their top 14 prospects are expected to be ready for the big leagues either this year or the next. Capitalized by shortstop Jacob Wilson, the number 63 prospect in all of baseball, the list of players the A's will bring up is very solid. Between the eight players on the Athletics in their 20s playing at an average or above level and the 12 prospects, the Athletics have a decent team in the works. Since only one of the 12 are top 100 prospects, I don't expect the Athletics to be World Series contenders. Nonetheless, they'll have a legitimate shot at making the playoffs, especially with the new expanded format. The average attendance at a playoff game in 2023 was 43,277 people. If the Athletics make the playoffs in Sacramento, they'll only be able to sell 14,000 tickets to each game. The tickets to MLB playoffs cost up to thousands of dollars. Therefore, if the A's make the playoffs in Sacramento, the amount of money John Fisher would miss out on would be laughable, possibly over a million dollars per game. All of this is because he refused to invest in his team in Oakland. While the next couple of years of athletics baseball may be fun and exciting, and the A's will eventually return to their old ways. Since Fisher bought the team in 2005, they've been in an endless cycle. First, the team is horrible. Then they develop some good young players and become good for a few years. But once the players become proven and established, instead of giving them contracts they deserve, Fisher ships them out of town and restarts the cycle. The lows were 2007 through 2009 in which they went 226 and 259, winning only 46% of their games, and 2015 through 2017, in which they went 212 and 274, winning only 43% of their games, and 
2022 through 2023, in which they went 110 and 214, winning only 34% of their games. The highs were 2012 through 2014, in which they won 278 and lost 208, winning 57% of their games. And 2018 through 2021, in which they went 316 and 230, winning 58% of their games. In the same fashion, players like Josh Donaldson, Sonny Gray, Matt Chapman, and Matt Olson were developed into stardom by the Athletics and were traded away. The new guys will come and go as well. Shaylin Galeers, Zach Geloff, Mason Miller, Kyle Muller, Jacob Wilson, and plenty more players will develop into stars in Sacramento before being traded away when the team moves to Las Vegas. The Athletics will have a window of success that will last three to four years, but it will be wasted in Surrey Hills Park. Not only is the capacity of the ballpark an issue, but the fan base as well. No fan will invest money in jerseys and tickets from a team when they know the team is leaving shortly. Between ticket sales and merchandise sales, the loss will be colossal. During their most recent high point, the athletics value grew by $220 million in three years. The lease of the Coliseum for three years would cost approximately $3 or $5 million. Therefore, if my analysis is correct, the athletics will have a window of success between 2025 and 2027. And afterwards, John Fisher will miss out on an insane amount of money. It's hard to put an exact number on it, but in my opinion, it could be north of $100 million. Karma's up. There's the pitch. That's swung on a fly ball. The center field did well. Going back to Burris near the track. He's at the wall. It's gone! A home run for Langoliers! And the A's have 